Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Wreath Boutique, and in this video, we're going to be making a beautiful evergreen Christmas wreath or winter wreath, whichever you like. It works great for both. This is going to be using a gorgeous mix of really, really high quality evergreens and some berries. I'm so excited to show you this. All of these materials are really, really high quality and they come from different wholesalers that I shop with. So I am going to be offering a kit with this tutorial. So that's exciting. I will have it linked in the description of this video. Also, if you want to know all of my favorite places to get wreath making supplies, both retail and wholesale, um, I do have a free cheat sheet you can grab. It's also linked in the description. I'm also using my favorite hot glue and hot glue gun and my favorite wire cutters. This wreath is going to be made on an 18 inch grapevine and the kit is for an 18 inch grapevine. It's going to make about a 22, 23 inch wreath, which is perfect for a front door. If you want to make a huge wreath, I would recommend getting two kits and then getting an 18 inch grapevine. I'm going to go over the supplies briefly of what we need. We've got two juniper. They kind of look like cypress, but they're juniper. We have two of these and to cut these, you can cut it into two or three pieces. I've done both. You just cut right here and then that gives you two pieces and if you want a third piece you can cut right here so this is what it looks like if you cut it into two pieces this is what it looks like when you cut it into three pieces so we have two of these in the kit we've got blueberries aren't these so good it's hard to find good quality blueberries in retail stores i've noticed there are some good options but there's lots wholesale so I always want to try and give you guys these kinds of options and for these you just cut them up into individual stems we're going to need five berry clusters so if you grab a kit i will have those ready for you then we have three stems of my seeding eucalyptus i love using year-round greenery in christmas trees because it really breaks up all the evergreens and adds another interest and it's so pretty and i'm just cutting these just like that they just cut really easily into two pieces. You could also do three, but for this wreath, I'm going to do two. Then we have our long needle pine. We just need one. And I just cut in between all the stems. We're going to use three sections of two. So we have two already sectioned out for us on one stem, two here, and then we'll use these in a section. Really easy. And then, oh, these are so good. Our balsam fir, aren't these so pretty? So for these, I already have these cut up, but all I'm doing is cutting it in half right here. So you find the leaves that are sectioned like that, right here in the middle, and you just, and you just cut that. The main piece that inspired this whole wreath is this juniper bush pick. It's got long needle pine it's got some little brown branches some other blueberries which is another reason why i chose to add blue because i didn't want to have red and blue together in the christmas wreath and then it's got some other mixed greenery in here isn't that just beautiful i love it such a fun mix and for these i'm cutting them into three pieces so right in between each of these sections you can see right there and right there so that each one of these gives us three little picks. This is a great way to take really good quality, more expensive greenery and really stretch it so it fills the whole wreath and looks very natural. The thing I love about this wreath is it's gonna look like you just went to a forest and just freshly picked everything and made a fresh wreath out of it, except this is gonna last you forever, so bonus. So in order to use everything nicely, we have three, this is going to be our guiding point, is using these. These are our three mixed sprays that I showed you. And each one of these has a blueberry in it, and they each have some little brown picks. And that's how we're going to keep track of everything going into this wreath so it stays nice and even. We have lots of piles of pretty greenery. So let's add some of this first. Since these are paper wrap stems, I do like to glue all the way up to the top. And I've already cleaned up my grapevine. I'm just sticking this along the grain of the grapevine. So you're gonna wanna add a third of these. Remember we had two bushes cut up. And then we're gonna add a third of these. Remember we had four bushes 
cut up. So most of these will get one and one section will get two. I love how natural this balsam fur looks. It's so pretty. I love it. If you make this, people are going to think it's fresh. And with each section, you're going to want to make sure you're covering up about a third of the wreath because we have three sections. And doing it this way does give us smaller stems, but that's okay. So what I did for this is I looked at the things that were in here and then I found other greenery that kind of mimicked what it was and then added that in the middle to really fill it out. I'm going to add in the broad leaves afterward. I'm just going to focus on the evergreens right now. So for this middle part, I used two of the balsam fir because I had because they're smaller than this one. So I used these in the section by themselves and then these together with another one. And then for this juniper, I used the bigger piece by itself. Then I'll use the two smaller ones in the next section. It's just how I mentally keep track of everything so that everything's evenly distributed. You don't have to overthink it that much. Now we're on our last section, which is marked by these brown twigs. Isn't that so cute so far? I love it. Don't worry, we're going to be adding more to give it more interest and depth. So now we're going to add in our eucalyptus leaves. So I'm going to add in a short one and a long one, one stem, in between every set of either blueberries or these twig things. I like to have little markers like that. Now we're going to add our blueberries and we have five of them and we only have three of these juniper berries, but they're kind of hidden. So we want to have this other pop of blue. Look how pretty they are. I love these. So I'm just going to add them evenly around the wreath. 
and these are really going to stand out. I think the blue just really takes over the top. Look at those details. I love, love this so much. Now I'm just going to add a quick little tie for hanging. I do this for every wreath and I don't show it in every video, but I will show it in this one since I haven't done it in a while. So what you do is you look and you find where it hangs best. And then on the back, you find a spot where your little jute twine can go through. So you just pull it through however you can. Looks pretty good. Oh, I love this wreath. This is so perfect. So I just make a little knot just like that. All right, here it is. Isn't that so pretty? I love it so much. Anyway, if you want to order a kit, I will have it linked in the description below. And if you want a larger wreath, you just order two kits and get an 18 inch grapevine and it'll be even bigger. But oh, I love it so much. This is perfect for Christmas and all the way through winter. So pretty. All right, bye.